Fancy dress. It's like a joke for people with no sense of humour. Hello? Oh, hi, Ben. So, uh, <clears throat> listen, dude, listen. You know how women, when they live together, their periodicals start arriving at the same time? And how dogs come to look like their owners? Well, I really wouldn't want that to happen to us. So, it actually... It actually looks like I'm going to be moving out. Are you... Has Superhands been talking about his kibbutz idea again? Because I can assure you, the state of Israel will not allow a kibbutz for hotties. No, Zara's split up with Ben and she's asked me to move in with her. Oh, right. Wow. This is very abrupt. Might have been nice to not take me to this big Eddie house and buy me a carbonara, but at least, you know. Dude, man, it's no biggie, you and me. You know, it was a phase. Bada bing, bada bye. Bada bing, bada bye. All things pass, you know. We're born, we live, we die. Plus, Zara's getting a 3D TV, so it all makes perfect sense if you think about it. Right, good. <clears throat> Congratulations. Johnson. Alan Johnson. Wish I'd come as Bond instead of a stupid fisherman from not even a film. Wetsuit. The full Bond. I'm scuba diving again. Thank you, direct marketing. What have you come as? Techno hippie street bum? I'm not actually wearing a costume, Alan, so the joke's on you. Yes, I knew that, so the joke's on you. Well, I didn't realise you knew that, so it can't have been a very good joke. Happy New Year. So, listen, really weird one. Apparently a guy from Time Out magazine turned up at Ben's party and Ben says he wants to talk to me about publishing a booklet on my blog posts. Your alphabetical lists of French films? He thinks they're seminal. Mm-hmm. Don't you think there's a chance that Ben might be trying to reel you in? I'm not saying you're a fish. Don't you think they're good lists? Oh, no, they're great lists. They're long lists. Maybe they don't want to publish them. Exactly. It's too big to miss. See you later, housemate. Ugh, day one and the housemate gets dicked over. So, pretty good numbers. Nailed a lot of the key players. Liam Kendrick in the house! Hey! So, you, you still pissed off with Big Sue's? What? Fuck you. Why would I even be? What a stupid thing to say, Mark. Sorry. If poor little bitch girl wants to have a spoiler party all over my housewarming, why would I even give a shit? Huh? Why? I don't know. Me neither. So, let's uh, grab you a cool can of crony and a bag of nuts. Or an ice-cold, long-necked bud. Hubba bubba. Alan, are, are you still... Oh, yeah. Apple ties. Five years, clean and serene. Hey, just because you're looking at some titties doesn't mean you have to suck on the nip-nips, right? Thanks, Alan. I I'll get stuck into that later. Oh, come on, Mark. A Bex, a simple Bex. Up on the South Downs, have a sack full of Bex. That's the dream, ain't it? I want to keep a clear head for when I talk to Dobby. Do you think she might be here soon? Or... I don't know, Mark. We've been over this. She might pop in. Mmm, cold white wine. Ain't that fine. Hmm. He's conned me to his party. Because it's hard to take a legal position on might pop in. Anyone might pop in. Jeffrey Archer, Hugo Chavez, Skinner and Badil. Aye, aye, Captain Bird's eye! <laughs> <laughs> so what have you caught, then? Some mackerel, sexual herpes from... Bumming a tramp. <laughs> Your insults are absorbed by the theoretical levity of the costume. So, come on then, is it true, Mark, that you've had your dick in the dob? Oh, uh, you might say that, but, but I couldn't possibly comment. What? Have you, Mark, had your dick in the dob? Uh, OK, yes, 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 I've... I've had my dick in the dog. Uh, so what's, what's an average night in? You, you sit around reading Superman comics, sucking each other's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Just grin and take it. I guess. She's a freak, isn't she? Uh, 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 uh. What kind of freak? Is she a, a manimal or a best-selling flanimal, would you say? Does he want an answer? I, I guess she's more of a manimal than, than a flanimal. Do you hear that, Dobbs? I'm a manimal. I don't even know what a manimal is. He's a shape-shifting crime fighter, Mark. You've had your dick in the dog. Fucking hell. <laughs> Dobby. Life's all pain. Pain, rejection and gloom. Why do we even pretend there's anything but a yawning blankness at the heart of... Hey, 33% extra free. <laughs> I am doing excellent shopping. My depressed state of mind means I'm being even more frugal than normal. Mark! Hey, Jeremy. You realise that tin food is just for crackheads and wars? Oh, oh, no, no, mate. This stuff's 78 pence 100 millilitres. Well, yeah. I mean, it's first pressing. Or do you want to wait till everyone else has had their fun with the olives? 
fourth pressing. Yeah, like that's going to be a party in your mouth, I don't think. Look, Jeremy, we've been through this before. I do the joint shopping solo because I don't make impulse purchases and I'm less swayed by the power Mark, of... Mark, I'm not shopping. I just came here to tell you that we've been invited to a very wicked party. Do I look like the kind of man who goes to wicked parties? Why don't you ask Tony? Did actually, but she said no. But it's better this way. You know, two lads. We've got to get out there, grooving, doing it, you know? I mean, it's been a long time for either of us. I mean, I haven't had my oats in something like two weeks. Nine months and 13 days. I mean, look at us. People are going to think we spend the whole time wanking. Don't be ridiculous. They're homey. They're for wiping up mess. Yeah, man mess. Why do you think they're called man size? Well, they're for men. Men's noses. Big manly snot. Oh, Mark, come on, man. Let it go. What? Why do you have to have a huge can of lager that makes you really, really drunk? What's wrong with moderation? Yeah, but what if you want to get Sophie back home? You might want to get her all lathered up. Well, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Oh, shit. Did you... Mm-hmm. And she... I mean, it's not a date or anything because I've got a mega pass. How do you feel about Road G, by the way? Tonight? Yeah, I thought... Oh, Mark, l listen, I'm, I'm sorry, I'd love to, but uh, I've got this thing. Oh, man, I'm... But listen, this is the perfect time to get back in the game, you know? Two guys together, out, looking for it. No, thank you. I mean, how much pain can I experience at home with a spaghetti carbonara and das boot? Look, it's eight o'clock on a Friday night. Most people don't do their shopping right now, yeah? Most people are out right now, yeah? That's right. No cues. So who exactly is winning, eh? Why do you have to bring Daryl? He's a bit boring, isn't he? Oh, boring? What, because he doesn't go around with a haircut and an iPod and piercings and a... Strap on. Strap on. It's an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's, it's all right, Jeremy. It, it's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. It's not all right. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. I'm in the big league now. Four naan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. So. What am I going to pay you to do in my band? That's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his corps anglais. Nancy's singing. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, we did once talk about me doing a kind of Jean-Michel Jarre thing on the keyboards. Mm-hmm. Or I was sort of hoping you'd say you want to be the manager. Yeah? You could order me around, which you'd enjoy, but I'd be your boss. Could be kind of confusing. In a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, eh? Ooh. Ah. 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 Like a super hands party. Only if Dobby's here. Let the Punani hunt commence. The hunt for Punani? Thought you were moving in with Zara. Exactly. I've made a firm commitment. We're practically getting married, so this is basically my stag do. Free pass. If Dobby's here, I need to make it up with a gesture. Something extraordinary. I could offer to marry her. Oh, always the marrying with you, isn't it? Superhands! Cheers, man. Wow, it is rocking out. You okay, dude? Yeah, yeah, it's just in there. Fuck, man. Tasty. Why would people want to do that shit? Why even go there? You told me it was going to be a chilled one, Jeremy. You assured me that he'd made a huge lemon meringue pie. I don't know what to think. I have seen through the iron needle. I've seen it. I've finally bloody seen it. I've pulled open the hurt locker and had a big old rummage round. Let's go in. Didn't you hear what he just said? It sounds fun. No, it doesn't. It sounds terrifying. Whatever. Let's get in there. It's the heart of darkness, Jez. It's the fucking dirt. I don't want to go into the heart of darkness. Oh, come on, dude. Sometimes you've got to flip the switch. Lift the rock and look what's underneath, because it's not always wood lice. Look, if that party is too much for Hans, the, excuse me, Hans, the crack-addled maniac, I'm pretty confident it'll be too much for me. <sighs> Hans, is, is Dobby in there, do you know? She swung by, but she couldn't hack the hate. I think she pissed off the big Susers. Bloody hell. I'm going to write this place off. 
send someone in there tomorrow with some disinfectant and a flamethrower. I got my sleeping bag. I don't want to know. How was it? Fine, let's go. What? Look, I don't want to talk about it, all right? I just want a, a cup of tea and some soda bread and sit down somewhere quiet. Well, what's going on in there? Are they doing it? Yes, Mark. That's right. They're doing it. You really have no imagination whatsoever, do you? Well, what are they doing then? Dude, don't worry about them, because they sure as hell aren't worrying about you. Let's just go. Hands? Yep. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Big Susie's? I don't mind where, as long as it's safe. I just want to be in a controlled environment. Have a Coke and a tuna sandwich, just mong out to some snow patrol. Great. Super hands in the sidecar. Who's the chick? That's no chick, man. That's the love of my life. Wow. And... Um... What does she... I don't know much about her. She don't speak English. We speak the language of love and a tiny little bit of German. Right. I'll tell you, man, she is the one. I'll take a bullet for her. I'll take a bullet up the Aris for her. Oh, that's nice. I'll take a fucking truncheon up the Aris for this one. Or an umbrella. I would open an umbrella up inside my Aris for this one. Hands, we, we get the message. There's probably no need to list all the things you put up your bottom for your girlfriend. So, thanks for coming. I mean, obviously, your mate, I'm not, I don't approve of what he's done, but there's no reason why we can't be civil. Yeah, sure. So, what I'm after, what I'm demanding is my Blackberry back. Yeah, I might be able to help you. Oh, well, that would be fantastic, because uh, it, it actually belongs to my office. Yeah, it's going to cost you 50 quid, though, mate. No. All right, see you later. Yes. All right, OK, great, cool. I mean, I think... I have to say, this is a bit rich, but I guess maybe there's certain administrative costs for you to bear and so on, so... Uh, 60. It's gone up to 60 now, mate. Really? Yep. Because, obviously, this dynamic could go on indefinitely. I mean, is 60... Will that really be it? Definitely. All right, cheers. Oh, listen, one more thing. Will you ask for it again, but like a lady, in a lady's voice? I'm sorry? Ask for your Blackberry like a lady. No, I, I really think... Okay, mate. So Can I have my Blackberry back? Please. Can I have my Blackberry back, please? All right, listen, mate, I'll call you when I've got it, yeah? But he hasn't got my... Oh. No, of course, he'll have my number from when I called him. Yes, and I think he'll definitely be calling. Goodbye, beard. Hello, familiar, stupid face. So, how'd it go down the pub? Make a good impression? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. But it got me thinking about Sophie and, and the wedding and how I probably don't properly love her. Yeah? Yes. I, I think... I think I'm going to call it off, Jez. Wow. That's... I'm impressed, Mark. Could go for a high five. Probably not the most appropriate time. So, is that why the beard? Yes. I thought you liked the beard. Well, I had to pretend that, even to myself. I mean, what sort of man would grow an unwanted beard to order? So, when are you going to call it off? Well, I, d I don't know. It's difficult. I mean, ideally, it would be somewhere with nice surroundings. Yeah? Somewhere with flowers. Coffee and sedatives, medical assistance. Maybe with music, but not, not too jaunty, but melancholy music. Right. So where are you planning to find this magical musical break-up hospital? Oh, shit. That, that'll be Sophie looking for Nokia. I can't see her now. Pretend to be asleep. Why don't you just finish it now? I can't do it now. You don't just declare war, Jeremy. You, you prime the press, you square the UN, you make up your reasons. It's not... What? I heard you snoring, but you're not asleep. No, just practising. I was showing Jeremy some techniques. I'm sure Jeremy's got plenty of his own techniques. I just wanted to check you were back OK, Mark, and say how lovely it is to have you both here. Please, no. Please tell me no. What? That. The smutty smile. 
Jeremy, please tell me that nothing's going on there. Nothing is going on there. Let's just say that nothing is going on there. Yeah. Actually, I did want to tell someone. I mean, it was so cool. She had all this jam. Oh, my God, you didn't! You fucked her! Jeremy, you need chemical castration. You're out of control. That's Sophie's mother. She's hot. She's not out of Hollyoaks, Jeremy. She probably had a ration book. Oh, you're a piece of work, aren't you? I'm down the pub putting the hours in with the dad and you're back in the house banging the mum. That is not a good impression. I don't know. I think I made a pretty good impression. Uh, Jeremy, please, don't, don't smile like that. You're not James Bond. You're disgusting. I am James Bond. Mark. Jeremy, Superhands, and a woman. You're all here. Gosh, have you come straight from the harbour? It's fancy dress. How fancy. And, Jeremy, do you want to pick up any of those plasticine models you sent of you and I doing such and such? Yeah, sorry about that, Suze. I was feeling very, um... Look, if you like, we can all just... No, no, you must come in for a bit. Oh, look, you've brought us some... Oh, almost champagne. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll put it there, and if for any reason we don't get around to drinking it tonight, you can take it back with you, yes? Right, Suze, I need a smoke out. Wanna watch me roll up a foreskin? I'll tell you where you might like it, Hans. Out in the garden. Yes. Suze, do you know, is Dobby here? Hmm, not sure. There are an awful lot of what I'm sure you won't mind me calling your types here, so... But listen, since you've both been so wonderfully clever and made it here without an invitation card or anything, would you mind being total stars and helping out? Is that right? So, for you and yes. And listen, once you've done a couple of rounds, please feel free to sit down and have a very quick drink. OK, thanks. OK, Dobby, I'm going to find you and I'm going to feed you. I was never any good as Susie's boyfriend. I should have been her butler all along. Are you guys the turds in the punch bowl? I'm sorry? I heard a couple of wetbacks had snuck in. Yeah, that's probably us. Hello, she's looking at me. Maybe I should... Why not? Zara hasn't phoned, texted or emailed for two hours. She's basically instructing me to have sex with a random woman. Where's Dobby? You aren't Dobby. You aren't Dobby. Even you aren't Dobby. I thought I bagged the train spotter in the red coat with the nice norks. Dobby! Oh, but she called me a trouser head and fucked off to some amazing party. Hello? A lead? What the Crofton Road do? A few of Alan's hangers on have gone to that. Good riddance. Of course. Gerard's party. I've tracked her down like Bin Laden in his cave. Now I can move in for the grisly kill. OK, let's crank up the flirtathon using a language I think she'll understand. Yoko oh no, or Yoko oh yes. Mm-hmm, okay. Let's see if I can move it up a level. My hands are speaking sexy Esperanto. Hold on. Zara? Oh, shit, it's the love of my life. Hey, Zara. Oh, Mark, could you get that? Fuck you. Of course. Great, thanks. Sure, I'll get it, but the serfs are revolting. I'm storming out of the Winter Palace like the looniest Bolshevik in Petrograd. Mark. Oh, shit. Of course. Went to get some more booze. We got waylaid, Alan. We thought we saw a badger and... It's OK, Mark. It's fine. I... I admit defeat. Suze wins, OK? What? Isn't it like kryptonite? What, what, won't it kill you? I'm not going to drink it, Mark. I'll just take a sniff for old time's sake. More fool you, asshole. OK, let's roll. I just spoke to Zara. Ben tried it on with her. We're going to pick her up. I need to take her somewhere cool. I think I have just the place. Right, let's do one. Some bloke just asked Yoko for a number and I pushed a fucking crayfish up his snuzz. Mm. Is there any more tartar sauce? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've left it all in George Osborne's ball sack. Tell you what, why don't you nip upstairs, wank him off and dip it in that? Let's go before we get fired. Well, did you do it? Have I got my money? Don't do the pause, Mark. You're not Davina. Have I got my money? Yes, you've got your money. Yes! Mwah. You beautiful man. I'm going to tattoo your name on my balls. I'm a millionaire again. But there's a condition. Oh, there's always conditions, Mark. You can ignore conditions. When you sign up for a credit card or adopt a child, there are conditions. They're meaningless. Jackie doesn't trust you with that kind of money, so she wants to put someone in charge of it to control how much you spend. Oh, fuck. It's not Martin, is it? No. No, it's not, actually. Right. Well, who is it? Is this some kind of Brewster's Millions scenario? 
It's me. I'm in charge of your money. Oh, brilliant. You're the boss of me. This is your pathetic dream come true, isn't it? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I've got your balls in a vice. I'm the Iron Chancellor. Now, I've worked out a budget, and I think £70 a week is about right, and I'll take £130 for rent and loan repayments. Great. So, basically, you're my dad now, and you give me my pocket money. You don't have to agree, Jeremy. You're free to turn the money down. That would teach him if I did turn it down. That would wipe the shit-eating grin off his face if I did that. Do you agree? Of course I agree. Obviously I agree. So, Mark, obviously, being a little dry at the start. We bit dusty bin. <sighs> I don't like you, Jan. But you really pulled it off towards the end. For a first time, you really impressed me. Well, thank you. Good old lovely Jan. So, I'll be in touch about organising some more tours. That'd be marvellous. Oh, there was a file you left on the computer that you borrowed from us. Shit. Was there? Yes. I had a look at it. I'm sorry, but it was an application from you for a full-time job with a loss adjusters, and I just wanted to make sure that you would actually be available to work for us. Oh, yes, I'd, I'd absolutely be available, Jan. The, the, the loss adjusters application was just insurance, if you'll pardon the pun. It was actually quite a good pun. Is it over? How do you do? Shit, then shitter, but then good. Great. I was feeling a bit guilty about not coming. You know, I think I've been taking Mark a bit for granted since I started seeing Elena. You know, it's been Elena this, Elena that all the time. Elena, Elena, Elena. And that's wrong. Anyway, Elena said I should come and make it up with him, so here I am. Right, well, he's just talking to Jan at the moment. So I can delete that file on the laptop, then? Yes, please. File. Ah. Uh... That wasn't actually Mark's fault, that file. No, no Jeremy, you, you don't need to do this, really. The porn on your computer, Jan, the hardcore pornographic sex film on your laptop, that was me. I'm fundamentally a sex addict. I wank 10, maybe 12 times a day. It's a disease, a wanking disease. I done the downloading, and then I done a wank. I'm, I'm so sorry, Jan. This won't be a problem, will it? Um, I I'll, uh, give you a ring, Mark. Superb. That's the single nicest thing Jeremy has ever done for me, and it's completely ruined my life. You lovely shithead. Sex over, now the smiling and staring. I think Dobby might be bored with me sexually. I'm vanilla. I should be not Neapolitan, that's two seventies, but pistachio. Slightly unpleasant, but novel. I was thinking of booking that country house hotel for, for your birthday. Really? Because country house hotels? I mean, doesn't working in a Mexican restaurant mean we'd be better suited to a Premier Inn and a bottle of supermarket body? Or I could pay? No way. I I'm being the man here and, and paying for everything. I I'm taking you away. I, I might even carry you over the threshold. OK, Captain Caveman. Would you be able to drive us it it's in Hereford? Sure. Shall I get it, seeing as I've got your fluffy dressing gown on? Thanks. Officially, it's a toweling robe. Might not be incredibly stylish, but it is hugely absorbent. Oh, did I tell you? Poor old Simon's mum's ill. Oh, how horrible for him. I might get a card. The cool, good-looking ex-boyfriend, whom I strongly suspect was far better in bed than me. His grief is mine. You got some money, Mark? Hang on! Must be the Bernardo's man. He's unemployed, Mark. Right. Is he, though? I'm pretty sure I saw this exposed on Rogue Traders. Just trying to make a bit of honest money, really. Y your neighbours have been very kind. So, uh, what, what have you got? Um, fluffy dusters, J-cloths... Shit. Scissors. OK, don't choose the um, cheapest in front of Dobby. Few, they're not J-cloths, not scourers. Fluffy or dusters, or I think they're relatively cheap. Or, or oven gloves. Fluffy duster. Sure, mate, uh, they're 11 pounds. They're what? 11 quid, uh, made of fibres. I'm being politely mugged. Thanks. I'll go and make some coffee, Mr Generous. I'd have just gone for the J-cloths. Great. Just wasted £11 on £4 worth of female approval. Right, I'm having that back. You've conned me. I'm not some frail old lady in sheltered housing. Get to fuck. Are you OK? It's fine. Things got a bit out of hand, but I took control. How far down does this go, do you think? Can't be very far. She's here! Dobby! Maybe we should just accept defeat, resign ourselves to a bit of Jules Holland. No, not the Hootenanny. Never the Hootenanny. We're better than that. We are going to this party. Come oh, on, Mark, scrabble. Help me scrabble. It's not long till the bowls. 
These are surprisingly effective sort of spade scrapers, aren't they? I know. Hey, Zara, try and find some tarpaulin or some rags to wrap yourself up in for when you want to scramble under. Do you really think Martin Ames is going to be here, Jez? He might pop in. That's what I heard. He might pop in. Shit. Oh, no. She's finger-blabbing. Her hands are singing like a canary. Ah, what the hell are you doing? Uh, just, uh... Just tunnelling in? You've been following me. Tracking and, and digging, like, like a faithful hound. I'm burying my dignity in this small hole. Do you want a hand? Oh, my God, she's smiling. She's giving me a hand. She's not shooting me with a sniper rifle. She's helping me tunnel to freedom and start a new life oh. in the West. Stop! Cease and desist! <laughs> you stay where you belong. Ah, ah. Oh, don't be a dick. Gerard, let him in! <laughs> hey! Wait, Jay! What the fuck? Yoko says you were giving it all that at Big Susan. What? Jamie, were you? God, no. It wasn't sex, you know, it was just sexy hand signals. Why were you giving her sexy hand signals? I... It was all a misunderstanding. I was in the kitchen and I might have done a... like that for OK, yeah, and then there were lots of little sausages around, so maybe I put the sausage in the OK to ask, would you like to put a sausage in your mouth? You mean, see, if she wanted to put a sausage in her mouth and then take it out and then put it back in again? Yeah! You know how I feel about her. You've got to fucking pay for this. Look, it's not my fault she doesn't speak English. Fuck! This kind of thing probably happens the whole time at the UN. See you later, Jeremy. But what, what about the bongs? What about the love nest? We're still OK for the love nest, yeah? It's not going to happen. It's a no. Oh, fuck, she's gone. My true love. My housing association. No. Oi, oi. It's Snoopy and the Red Baron. Come in, you pair of fucking carb loaders. Now, the, uh, the base juices are all paid for, lads, so just choose your fucking additions and let's detox till we've got mega cocks. Oh, my God, he's cleaned up for the wedding. Iggy's gone to rehab. Sober hands. This stack is one load of PG-rated, Disney-assed, which magazine approved, childproof, high-vitamin fucking bullshit. Jez, do you think at some point soon it's going to start to degenerate? In antioxidants. Oh, here we go, lads. More juice. Delicious hands. I'm just not sure how much more juice I can manage, to be honest. Yeah, after you've had three or four really big juices. Yeah, whatever. So, listen, I thought we'd hang here for a bit. Then a little stroll down Oxford Street, taking the funny T-shirts, hit one of my fave pretz, more juice, bit of a relax, then the Salvo, shopping, relax, juice, and then to swords. They got a new waxwork of Zoella and some other wicked YouTubers. Sound tasty? When do you think it'll degenerate? I would think it'll degenerate soon. Ah, oh, pissing pure innocent smoothie. There's no way we can talk more about juice. See, the thing about juice from most places is you get all the fibre and most of the vitamins, but if it's been pasteurised, a fuck lot of the micronutrient content's been neutralised. Oh, no. No, I don't think so, love. We're not, um... Do you want to use Joker's order this? Sorry, fun. Wrong table. Um, unless, um... One little sip -a No, mate! No! No! What, just to wet the whistle? I exactly. J just to wet the whistle. Uh, just to wet the whistle. That's right. Get that big old whistle really nice and wet. Mm. That is quite refreshing. Oh! I just wanna fucking suck, fucking suck, fucking suck, everyone. I just wanna fucking suck, oh, the whole night through. Oh, I love cocaine. Oh, I love cocaine. Like, I'm really passionate about my art, but I'm stuck working here and it's like, like when's it gonna happen for me, you know? Probably never. Right. What are your actual chances of making a living as an artist? I don't know, like, not very high? Exactly. Not very high. Jez, I want to go full horrible. Take me to the nasties. All in good time, Hans. Look, I'm a life coach, so when I say sometimes you have to kill a dream to follow a dream, that's advice backed by a professional standards body. Mmm, I've said body. She'll be thinking about my body. Excuse me, mate. Fuck off. I had the strokes before you. <laughs> it did degenerate. I knew it would. Is he going to be OK? He's going to be fine. He's moving into Super Hans's party pad. They're going to have the time of their lives. OK. Why did he hit him? I think that's just a thing they do to see in the new year. 